is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for all signs for the weekend of September 9th, 2022. The start of Mercury Retrograde. Uh, this is the time frame of the unexpected. Uh, so let's see what we have coming up for all signs for the weekend. If you guys are seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Okay, so taking a look at the weekend, you're going to have to dig for your patience. Uh, it's about getting what you want, but it's coming in a different form than what you're expecting. It's also putting a stop to people that are using you or taking advantage of you. Uh, you've got a high drive for success. Some of you planning a trip out of state, but overall, you're taking your power back. Okay? So, for the weekend, the first card up we have is the devil. Expect some intensity in your love life. And that's kind of twofold. I also want you to check your inner circle and make sure you don't have a shady person there as well. You have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is representing that there is a new beginning in your love life. And we have a Tower card moment. This is your temper. Uh, this is going to be very brief in passing. It does indicate sudden changes. Nothing bad. It's usually you get mad, you vent about something, and then life rolls on. Okay? And we have the King of Cups, unexpected offer of love. I want to throw out there a Cancer energy may resonate as well. And we have the Knight of Swords. So quick moving, quick moving energy and something is coming rushing in. What is rushing in? We have the King of Swords. Now, this is a dominant, prominent person. This could also be an authority figure or someone in uniform. Could come with a Libra energy with someone coming in to offer some sound advice. Or, yeah, I'm going to say someone to offer you sound advice or someone to offer you help in some way. You are under that death card energy. Now, it's also under retro, so it's going to be emotional. This is endings and closures and rebirths and new beginnings. So one door is closing and another door is opening, all going down at once. So it's going to be a bit emotional. Okay, a lot of scattered energy there. This is the calm before the storm. So get the rest that you need while you can. And we have the seven of swords. Someone is lying to you. Okay, someone is not telling you everything and someone is not being totally honest with you. Alrighty, so let's go a little bit further with these messages. There again, this is all signs for the weekend of September 9th, 2022. Alright, we have the Nine of Cups coming in. Wish fulfillment. Okay. This is total happiness and total contentment. A lot of you, this is going to be in the area of love, okay? We have the Three of Cups. This is, um, I mean, that was the time frame of the unexpected. I don't want to say it's unexpected, but I want to say some unplanned get-together. Uh, maybe dinner out, something like that. Uh, but definitely good times. And on that Tower card, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, financial stability, also uh, resonating as an Aquarius energy. On the King of Cups, we have the Shadow Side, okay? Someone that is offering you a cup of love, and for some of my singles, you've got more than one option. One of these people, I'm going to be honest with you, is shady, okay? Really look at the, what you're being offered there. And on the Knight of Swords and what's rushing in, you have a Messenger card, also a Sagittarius energy. What is rushing in is the Ten of Swords. You're surrounded by healing energy. Uh, possibly emotional where someone's done you wrong. Remember, like I said, this is a weekend about taking back your power. Okay? On the Death card energy, we have the Five of Cups. No overthinking things. Get out your head. Okay? And it's just like you're overthinking and overanalyzing. We have the King of Pentacles. This is financial stability. Could be a Gemini, but you're also I'm looking at a power couple here. Okay? So, yeah, something new in the love life. And we have karma. It's time for that karma bus to roll around, both good and bad. And your center of the reading bonus, my favorite card, the chariot. Also representing the time frame of the unexpected. The cool thing about the chariot is you get what you want and you get what you desire. It's going to come rushing in. It's going to come when you least expect it. And like I said from the beginning of the reading, this is about getting what you want, but it's coming in a form you're not expecting. 
Looks like a pretty amazing weekend. Thank you guys for watching. JackieTalman.com. If you're seeking personal readings, have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Bye.